The U.S. Navy just confirmed something that will change naval warfare forever. Vice Admiral Daniel Cheever stood before military leaders last month and made a promise that sent shockwaves through defense circles worldwide. The MQ-25 Stingray will fly in 2025. By 2026, it will operate from American aircraft carriers. This isn't just another drone program. This is the dawn of unmanned carrier aviation, and it's happening faster than anyone expected. Five major defense contractors just received contracts worth billions to develop loyal wingman drones that will fly alongside our pilots. Turkey already proved it works when their TB3 drone successfully landed on a moving ship without any human assistance. China is racing to catch up. The age of drone aircraft carriers isn't coming someday. It's here now. The transformation happening right now represents the most significant shift in naval aviation since jets first landed on carrier decks in the 1940s. Our Navy isn't just adding a few drones to existing air wings, they're fundamentally redesigning how America projects power across the world's oceans. What you're about to learn will show you exactly how these drone carriers will work, why they're so important for our national security, and what this means for the future of American naval dominance. Let us know what you think about this revolutionary technology by commenting below. The MQ-25 Stingray represents something our military has never attempted before on this scale. This isn't a small surveillance drone that launches from a catapult and hopes for the best. The Stingray measures as long as an F-A-18 Super Hornet, but with the wingspan of an E-2 Hawkeye early warning aircraft. Boeing has been working on this massive unmanned tanker for years, overcoming manufacturing challenges that pushed its deployment back from 2025 to 2000, 26. The delay wasn't due to technical problems with the aircraft itself. The issue was building production lines capable of manufacturing something this large and complex at scale. Consider what this aircraft accomplishes. Right now, between 20 and 30 percent of all Super Hornet missions involve refueling other aircraft instead of engaging in combat operations. Every time our pilots have to act as flying gas stations, that's one less fighter available for actual fighting. The MQ-25 changes this equation completely. A single Stingray can carry 15,000 pounds of fuel out to a distance of 500 nautical miles from the carrier. It can refuel four to six aircraft in a single mission, then return to the carrier and do it again. The USS George H.W. Bush became the first carrier to receive what the Navy calls an unmanned air warfare center. This isn't just a control room with some computers and screens. It's a sophisticated command center that can simultaneously manage multiple unmanned aircraft operating hundreds of miles away. The system includes the MD-5E ground control station developed by Lockheed Martin's legendary Skunk Works division. These are the same engineers who created the SR-71 Blackbird and the F-117 Stealth Fighter. The real breakthrough came in November 2024 when Navy operators used this system to control a General Atomics MQ-20 Avenger in flight. This marked the first time anyone had demonstrated live control of a military drone from a moving aircraft carrier using satellite communications and advanced autonomy systems. The test proved that carrier-based drone operations aren't just possible. They're ready for deployment. But the MQ-25 is only the beginning. What the Navy revealed in September 2025 changed everything. Five companies received contracts to develop what they call collaborative combat aircraft, specifically designed for carrier operations. These aren't refueling drones. These are loyal wingman fighters that will fly combat missions alongside human pilots. Anduril, Boeing, General Atomics, Northrop Grumman, and Lockheed Martin are now competing to build the future of naval aviation. Each company brings unique capabilities to this program. General Atomics already has their YFQ-42A flying for the Air Force's similar program. Anduril's YFQ-44A will join flight testing soon. Boeing has experience from their canceled UCLASS program and their successful MQ-25 work. Northrop Grumman created the X-47B, which was the first drone to autonomously land on a carrier back in 2013. 
The Navy's requirements for these loyal wingman drones reveal their ambitious vision. Each aircraft must cost around $15 million, significantly less than the Air Force's $25 to $30 million target for their version. This lower cost enables a different operational concept. Instead of treating these drones like expensive fighter jets that must be preserved at all costs, the Navy can use them as expendable assets when necessary. They're designed to fly only a few hundred hours before replacement, allowing rapid production and deployment. This expendable approach opens up entirely new tactical possibilities. Imagine a scenario where enemy forces threaten one of our carrier strike groups. Instead of risking pilots in heavily defended airspace, commanders can send waves of loyal wingman drones to suppress enemy air defenses, gather intelligence, and even conduct direct attacks. If some drones are lost, they can be quickly replaced without losing irreplaceable human pilots and their years of training. Before we dive deeper, please take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing but makes a huge difference to us. The engineering challenges of operating drones from aircraft carriers cannot be understated. Landing any aircraft on a moving ship requires incredible precision. The carrier deck pitches and rolls with ocean swells. Crosswinds constantly change direction and intensity. The landing area measures only about 300 feet long, leaving no room for error. Human pilots train for years to master carrier landings. Programming an autonomous system to handle these variables reliably represents one of the most complex challenges in modern aviation. The Navy solved this problem by building on lessons learned from the X-47B program over a decade ago. That experimental aircraft proved autonomous carrier operations were possible by successfully completing catapult launches and arrested landings. The X-47B used advanced sensors to constantly measure the carrier's movement and adjust its approach path in real time. Modern drones like the MQ-25 include even more sophisticated systems that can handle carrier operations in weather conditions that would challenge human pilots. The control systems aboard carriers had to be completely reimagined for drone operations. Traditional aircraft require constant radio communication with air traffic controllers and ship operations. Drones operating hundreds of miles away need satellite communications, encrypted data links, and artificial intelligence systems that can make split-second decisions without human input. The Unmanned Carrier Aviation Mission Control System represents years of development to create interfaces that allow a small number of operators to manage multiple drones simultaneously. This technological foundation enables tactics that would be impossible with manned aircraft alone. A single carrier could launch swarms of loyal wingman drones that spread out across thousands of square miles of ocean. Each drone becomes a sensor node, gathering intelligence and sharing information with the entire fleet. Enemy forces would face not just the traditional carrier air wing of 60 to 70 aircraft, but potentially hundreds of unmanned systems working together in coordinated attacks. The strategic implications extend far beyond individual battles. Carrier strike groups have traditionally been constrained by the number of pilots available and the fatigue limitations of human crews. Pilots can only fly so many hours before requiring rest. Complex missions requiring sustained operations over weeks or months push air crews to their limits. Drone aircraft don't get tired, don't need sleep, and can operate continuously as long as maintenance crews can keep them flying. This operational tempo advantage becomes crucial in potential conflicts across the vast Pacific Ocean. If tensions escalate with China, American carriers might need to maintain combat operations for months while staying thousands of miles from friendly ports. Traditional air wings would struggle to sustain high-intensity operations for extended periods. Mixed air wings that combine manned fighters with loyal wingman drones can rotate human pilots while keeping unmanned systems constantly in the fight. The cost advantages go beyond just the aircraft purchase price. Training a Navy pilot costs several million dollars and takes years to complete. Each pilot represents a massive investment in human capital that cannot be quickly replaced if lost. Drone operators require different training that can be conducted largely through simulation, reducing both time and expense. A single operator might eventually control multiple drones, multiplying the effective size of carrier air wings 
without proportionally increasing personnel requirements. Turkey's success with the TCG Anadolu provides a real-world example of what drone carrier operations look like in practice. Their Bayraktar TB3 successfully completed autonomous takeoffs and landings from the ship's deck in November 2024. The drone operated at 20,000 feet altitude and performed all maneuvers without human intervention during the critical flight phases. Turkey plans to begin routine combat operations with these drones in September 2025, making them the first nation to deploy operational fixed-wing drones from naval vessels. The Turkish example proves that drone carrier operations don't require the massive nuclear-powered supercarriers that America operates. The TCG Anadolu measures only 231 meters long compared to the 333 meter length of American supercarriers. This suggests that smaller nations could potentially develop their own drone carrier capabilities using modified amphibious assault ships or helicopter carriers. The proliferation of this technology could reshape naval power balances around the world. China recognized this potential early and has been developing their own drone carrier capabilities. Intelligence reports suggest Chinese naval forces are working on large flying wing drones specifically designed for carrier operations. Their new Type 003 Fujian carrier includes electromagnetic catapults that could potentially launch heavier unmanned aircraft than steam catapults allow. Chinese military doctrine emphasizes swarm attacks using large numbers of relatively inexpensive weapons, making drone carriers a natural fit for their strategic approach. The competitive pressure from international developments helps explain why the U.S. Navy accelerated their own drone carrier programs. Military leaders understand that maintaining American naval superiority requires staying ahead of potential adversaries in key technologies. The recent contracts awarded to five major defense companies represent a commitment to ensure American drone carriers remain the most capable in the world. Integration challenges between manned and unmanned aircraft require careful attention to prevent accidents and maximize effectiveness. Fighter pilots train extensively to work as teams, communicating constantly during complex missions. Adding autonomous systems to these teams creates new variables that must be programmed and tested thoroughly. The loyal wingman concept assumes that human pilots will command drone aircraft, but the command and control systems must be intuitive enough that pilots can focus on their primary mission rather than micromanaging their robotic wingmen. The artificial intelligence systems that control these drones represent some of the most advanced military technology currently in development. Each drone must be capable of independent decision-making in situations where communication with human controllers might be interrupted or impossible. This requires AI systems that can distinguish between friendly and enemy forces, assess threats, and execute appropriate responses within the rules of engagement. The complexity of programming these systems to handle the infinite variety of real combat situations explains why development has taken so long. Safety considerations become paramount when operating autonomous weapons systems in close proximity to manned aircraft and naval vessels. A single malfunction that causes a drone to behave unpredictably could endanger an entire carrier and its crew of over 5,000 personnel. Every system must include multiple redundancies and fail-safe mechanisms that default to safe operations even if primary controls are lost. The extensive testing required to validate these safety systems adds years to development timelines but ensures reliable operations when lives are at stake. The future vision that Navy leaders describe involves carrier air wings that seamlessly blend manned and unmanned capabilities. A typical mission might launch with human pilots flying advanced fighters like the F-35C Lightning II, accompanied by loyal wingman drones that extend their sensor range and weapons capacity. If enemy defenses prove too strong for manned penetration, the drones can continue the mission while human pilots remain in safer areas. This flexibility provides commanders with options that don't currently exist. Maintenance and logistics support for drone operations require new approaches compared to traditional aircraft. Unmanned systems can be designed for easier maintenance since they don't need to accommodate human occupants. Modular designs allow quick replacement of entire systems rather than complex repairs. However, the electronic systems that enable autonomous operations are often more sophisticated than traditional aircraft instruments, 
potentially requiring specialized technicians and equipment. The timeline for full operational deployment extends well beyond the initial MQ-25 introduction in 2026. The Loyal Wingman drones won't reach operational status until the end of this decade at the earliest. Full integration of mixed manned and unmanned air wings will likely take until the 2030s as the Navy refines tactics, training and procedures through extensive testing and evaluation. This extended timeline ensures that each capability is thoroughly proven before deployment to operational carriers. International partnerships and technology sharing agreements will influence how drone carrier capabilities spread to allied nations. NATO allies like the United Kingdom have already conducted their own drone carrier experiments, successfully operating General Atomics Mojave drones from HMS Prince of Wales. Australia, Japan and South Korea are all exploring similar capabilities. These partnerships could accelerate development while ensuring interoperability between allied drone systems. The implications for naval warfare extend to every aspect of carrier operations. Air defense systems must be updated to handle the increased number of aircraft operating around carriers. Flight deck operations require new procedures for simultaneously launching and recovering both manned and unmanned aircraft. Supply chains must provide parts and maintenance support for entirely new classes of military equipment. Perhaps most significantly, the success of drone carriers could influence decisions about future ship construction. If unmanned aircraft prove as effective as projected, the Navy might design future carriers specifically optimized for drone operations. These ships might look very different from current supercarriers, potentially smaller and less expensive while still providing comparable combat capability through larger numbers of unmanned systems. As these revolutionary changes unfold over the next decade, America's commitment to maintaining naval superiority through technological innovation continues a tradition that stretches back over two centuries. Our Navy has always adapted to incorporate the most advanced capabilities available, from steam power to nuclear propulsion to precision-guided weapons. Drone aircraft carriers represent the latest chapter in this ongoing evolution, ensuring that American naval forces remain capable of protecting our interests and supporting our allies anywhere in the world. The brave men and women who serve aboard our aircraft carriers deserve the most advanced and capable systems we can provide. These drone technologies will help keep them safer while making their missions more effective. The combination of human judgment and artificial intelligence capabilities promises to maintain American naval dominance for decades to come. If this video helped you understand this incredible military advancement, Please hit the like button and subscribe for more content about America's defense capabilities.